Recite the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. gentlemen, when you hear your military anthem being played, we ask that you would come forward. We would like to honor you, and we have a token of our appreciation for your service to this great country of ours. Army.
we're so grateful for these men and women. We love you. We appreciate you. We say thank you for your service and for your sacrifice to safeguard our American freedoms and the greatest nation on this planet. Thank you. Thank you. I placed a quote on my Facebook this weekend from Winston Churchill who said, a nation that does not honor their heroes will soon be a nation who has no heroes to honor. Amen. Gentlemen and ladies, we honor you today. Amen. You are our heroes. And you have earned the right to be called an American hero. We salute you and we honor you today. It is both with great pride, appreciation, and gratitude that I introduce to you today, not only our guest speaker, but a friend of this house, Amen. General Amen. William Gerald Boykin, Amen. to address the troops. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as we pray for all of these American heroes, Amen. all of these warriors that have stepped forward, as Isaiah said, and they've said to their nation, here am I, send me. Father, we ask for your blessings upon these great men and women today, God. We just ask that you would, God, bless them and reward them, God, for the service that they provided to this nation, for the sacrifices that they and their families have made. We thank you that we live in a nation where still our young men and women are willing to step forward and to take an oath to the Constitution and to wear the uniform of the United States military. We ask that you would bless their lives, God. Make them fruitful. Give them abundant blessings, God, that they will continue to serve this nation. Lord, though they may not wear the uniform anymore, we know, God, that you've been planted in them a heart of service. And we ask now that you would use that heart of service, God, to do great things in the nation that we love. God, we thank you for their lives, for each and every one of them, man and woman, God, for the sacrifices that they've made, for the service that they've given, and for what they will do for this nation in the future. I pray a blessing over them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.